Okay, so we are almost ready to pull this engine. Uh, we just got to... It's cold out there. Let her thaw out and uh, see if we can dig into it. Well, we're back. We're going to get back at it. Uh, back in the garage here. Uh, going to get a few things done. Garage is getting full of junk, so I uh, got the... The orange truck back in the garage here we're gonna get that 6-1 put in it and uh just run it na next year rather than trying to cram everything everything all into one one shot we'll just slowly work on things and maybe get back on the viper truck here soon i don't know got a few projects in the works so see if we can't get them sorted out three two one no oh, it's already playing Go! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so the I gotta stop saying alright. Alright! I just, I just kick things off with I! 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 There we go. I! We might as well do a strip walk and then little thing. Oh, great. Yeah. Okay, so we are back in the garage. I'm done buying things for now. I'm done buying things for now. I'm done buying things for now. Where are we going, Bruno? Okay, road tripping. We'll pick up some more junk. All the junk. So I've made a list of uh, the vehicles I want, and we're gonna go get one. I already have one, but this one's a little more complete, I think. So I'm gonna start buying all my projects now and start working on them. Right, Bruno? So we're gonna go cruise in the summer. Alright, back on another adventure to pick up another project. What do you think? What do you guys think? I want the one on the top shelf. I want that one. Another Model A coming home. Pretty excited.
loaded up. Another Model A. This one's a little more complete than mine, so we'll get start. Done buying things for now. Uh, I don't have any more space, so I actually can't buy anything else. Um, there's something sitting on the trailer, the yard is full, my parents have a few vehicles. Uh, I guess my, yeah, there's stuff kind of scattered all over town. Um, so, we're actually going to work in the garage. Uh, we're going to take the truck apart, get this motor out, get this 6 one back in here, build some mounts, and get back, get this truck running potentially and then uh you know get it ready for next summer and then we will bring in the next project after this is running because i'm just going to use up parts that i have so that there's less stuff sitting around and then uh go from there so we're just gonna get this front clip off and get this engine yank out And just like that, front clip's off. Definitely easier to just, uh, you know, take the fenders off one at a time, but just for lack of storage space, it was easier and quicker to just do this for us, so. Clip's off, we will be ripping the engine out next. Don't know if I'm gonna leave the transmission in there. Um, gonna use the transmission on the 6.1, that guy there and then put it back together, get to the wiring and fire it up maybe, and then we'll maybe lower it before I take it out because I gotta find a diff because I maybe or maybe not welded it for burnout purposes, um, but I don't plan to drive it like that next year. So thanks to these guys for their muscles and stuff and Yeah, way to, way to go. I just painted that truck and you scratched it. What are you talking about? Awkward silence. Yeah, so let's get back at it and get this engine out. Or uh, these guys might be sick of working with me. It's very possible. Hey, you guys want to keep going? No? Guys? 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 We're done? We're calling it? Wow. Guys? Okay, so we are almost ready to pull the engine out. We got the exhaust crossover pipe to do some bell housing bolts, the starter, and uh, that's basically it. And we should be able to take this thing out, get this 6-1 situated in there, make sure it's where I want it to sit, and then we will start fabbing up some mounts. Once the mounts are fabbed up, we can start wiring it with the Holly uh, Terminator. Get this thing running because this truck is leaving this garage under its own power. You heard it here first, folks. Yep. Commit, committed. Gonna do it. No, but. messing around with a broken starter bolt and some bell housing bolts and Braden was fighting with the turbo manifold on this side gave us a lot of grief considering this thing was just put in here like not that long ago but uh, we're uh, two bolts away from lifting this thing out of here and then I'll have to address that broken starter bolt and then we can get that 6-1 sitting in there maybe tonight Probably not, because I'm old. It's go time! <laughs> always, it's always fun to be around here. No, don't lie, don't lie. I just show up and get put to work. You guys are cheap. Let's hang out in the garage and remove the motor. You know what? What a fun. Do you have tension on that? Uh, 
Five two is out. NV thirty five hundred still sitting in there. It's still there's no hole in the block, which is disappointing because I sure tried near the end. But engine's out. Six one's got to go in. Well, let's see if we did any damage to this V six clutch. basement build. Near the end this thing was doing weird things. So I hope the transmission is gone. Or if the clutch is actually weird. Broken. Wah wah wah. A little bit of heat there. That was a new flywheel though, I think. No, it wasn't. I mean, it got hot. I don't know. Sure, clutch things. What did that mean? Oh, you know what, it might've been my slave cylinder was acting weird because. Or your throat bearing. Or the throat bearing. Sounds a little crunchy. Oh, I don't know what the heck. Maybe my, maybe it needed to be bled. I don't know, it ain't broken. So I guess we'll uh, use a six one to break it. So I'll see if I can track down a throw up bearing. And... So the six one is not going in tonight. Cause that is Healthy. I like it. Don't quit your jade, your day job. Don't become a English teacher. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we have a broken starter bolt. 
We're gonna weld that and see if we can get it to come loose. That's usually my job. Well, we got it out. Um, I have no idea why it was so stuck in there. It's not really that marred up or anything. So uh, we put a relief cut in it and spread it a bit because we just kept snapping the bolt more and more as we welded nuts to it. Uh, so I will clean that up tomorrow and I will pick that up. Um, I mean, this transmission is not going to last long behind the six ones. So probably don't even have to weld it, but I'm going to for fun and practice. And then six one swap is going in. Little Mazda's going down. Transmission's going like that. Yep, all fun things. Right, Braden? Yep, all fun things. All the things of the fun. Knock, 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 knock. So I went ahead and uh, just TIG welded that cut up. I'm no pro. I just wanted to close it up with, and then I ran a tap through it. I mean, I didn't really get penetration all the way through. Um, like I said, this transmission is probably going to just grenade this year. So uh, I got a new release bearing on there, greased everything up good. going to try and get this 6-1 sitting in here tonight and uh, start building some mounts. I kind of had some built. Last time this engine was sitting in here, but I'm not super happy with them. So I'm going to try some new ones or fab up some new ones. Um, I was going to clean it all up and paint it all fancy and stuff. Uh, but I just don't think that's going to be worth it because I do have plans for this truck. I just want to try and get it running and driving for the summer season. And then I have another frame that I want to build. Uh, do a bunch of like r d on it and see if i can get it to be a, a good handling frame because this one's been cut so i actually have a short box frame and i think i have a paint scheme i kind of want to do with this thing so for this year i just want to get everything i have kind of running and driving and then pick away one at a time so i can finish them because i'm so bad at bouncing around so let's get this thing in there I got the 6-1 back sitting in here. Um, it's bolted up to the transmission. I'm gonna fab up some mounts. I'm gonna get to set the height. I have to fab up some mounts. I'm gonna have to run a 45 degree oil filter adapter, I think. I'm probably gonna move the original mount back a hole. This side's pretty close to the brake booster, so we'll see how that goes. 
once I get everything situated, I might have to run a smaller booster. And headers will be fun as always, but we're gonna make it work. This thing's gonna run. Because I'm overtaking it out of trucks and putting it in different trucks and then not using it. So it's gotta run in this one. It's already got a turbo return line bung on it. So if we decide to send some boost to this thing, we can, but like I said, for now, I'm just trying to get everything running and then focus on one at a time and finish the dang things because it's kind of frustrating to have 1900 projects going on at once, but it's fun to buy them. So let's go grab some mounts. Six ones sitting in the truck. Fabbed up some uh, crude looking mounts, but I think they're gonna work. This is the passenger side. Pretty sturdy. This is the driver's side. Pretty straightforward and simple, but they should work. Six one is now bolted into the truck. Mounts will work. some room for manifolds. I tried to use some headers from a Chrysler 300, but they're just not gonna work. I thought they'd be tight enough, but they uh, they hit the frame rail, these trucks. Whoa, D100s just are not, uh, the frames aren't wide enough. So gonna run some factory uh, Ram uh, five, seven manifolds for now until I decide whether or not it's going to get turboed or whatever. So like I said, I just want to get it running for next year. So now we can start the Holly ECU install. All right, it's time to get started on the wiring. I got the heater hoses hooked up, brake boosters hooked up, alternators in and mounted. So we're just gonna finally use the Holly Terminator that I have been sitting around. That looks straightforward. Let's go back to a carburetor, right? Okay, let's dig into this thing. I wanna see this thing run this week. Get in. Why, where are we going? Get in. Why do you have the trailer? Put the bed back together, let's go. Oh, this is bad. Not. <laughs> Hey guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like what you see, please subscribe and follow along. We're always dragging things home and we may or may not have just made an 18 hour drive to bring something else home. So stay tuned for next one and uh, you can hit the little bell if you want to uh, get notified when the next episode's up. Thanks a lot. Get out there and build something.